Kia ora tato. In this video we're going to look at electrical conductivity of solutions. So if you remember from structure and bonding, the electrical conductivity of a substance depends on the concentration or the presence of charged particles that are free to move. When we're talking about solutions, um, we're only going to be talking about ions because there won't be there won't be electrons that are free to move throughout a solution. Um, and we we the key thing is the concentration so more than just the presence we're talking about the concentration so the greater the concentration the greater the electrical conductivity of a solution uh, so let's look at the different types of solutions that we might come across um, that we would need to describe the conductivity of so we could have a weak acid or a weak base so let's look at our main weak acids and bases um, so ethanoic acid is kind of our main weak acid so that reacts with um, water to form CH3COO minus plus H3O plus. So on this side of the equation we have got ions. So the ions are charged particles so the greater the concentration of these the greater the electrical conductivity of the solution whereas on this side we just have molecules with no charge. So we can see up there there's no charge on either of these molecules. Um, so this side of the so the more of these that we have means that the um, solution is going to be less conductive. So because uh, ethanoic acid is a weak acid, it only partially dissociates in water. So that's a key phrase when we're talking about these um, conductivity questions. So you would say ethanoic acid only partially dissociates in water to form its ions. And then we'd say therefore there's a low concentration of ions. So ethanoic acid does conduct electricity, but just not very much. It's got a low conductivity. And the same with ammonia, which would be a weak base, H2O. So that forms, on this side we've got NH4, we've got ammonium, and we've got OH-. So we do, we do still have, there are ions present, but again because ammonia only partially dissociates, or you can say partially ionizes, there's going to be a low concentration of ions in the solution, so it's got a low conductivity. Um, what about strong acids and bases? Uh, let's get rid of this. So strong acids and bases we could have HCl, going into H plus and Cl minus. So we've got, because this completely dissociates, um, we're going to end up with a high concentration of ions. So there's going to be a really good conductivity. And the same with sodium hydroxide as well, or any other strong base, because that's going to completely dissociate into its ions. Um, that means that there's going to be a high concentration of ions, so a, it'll be a good conductor. A solution of sodium hydroxide would be a good conductor. Even if we had put in the same amount of sodium hydroxide and ammonia into a, into a solution of water, um, the sodium hydroxide would be a better conductor, even though ammonia would still conduct a little bit. So the last thing, and this is probably the one that normally comes up more than strong acids and bases, is salts. So in the first part of it we looked at CH, we looked at ethanoic acid. But what if we had sodium ethanoate? What's going to happen there? Um, so that will, if we put that in water, first of all that will completely dissociate into its ions. So CH3COO- plus Na plus. So what we would say here is that this would identify that this is a salt and therefore completely dissociates. I mean this would then uh, react with water and I guess that wouldn't actually matter because that would be kind of one what I'm saying is CH3COO- minus could react with water to form CH, COH plus H3O, OH minus, um, but 
we're not actually changing the concentration of ions because we've got one ion on that side and one ion on that side. So if this reaction occurs, the concentration of ions would actually stay the same. So just figuring that out as I go. Um, so yeah, any salt will completely dissociate in water, which increases the concentration of ions. So if we were to compare um, sodium ethanoate to um, ethanoic acid, then sodium ethanoate would be would conduct better than ethanoic acid because this completely dissociates so there'd be a greater concentration of ions in the solution. Um, so another salt, the common one is NH4Cl. So that again will also completely dissociate into NH4 plus plus Cl minus. Um, and so because that's got a really high concentration of ions that will be a good conductor. So any salt is going to be a good conductor, um, even if we compared this to ammonia. Ammonia only sl slightly dissociates, so ammonia would, would not be as good a conductor as ammonium chloride. So salts, good conductors, um, uh, strong acids and bases are good conductors, and we would say that weak acids and weak bases are poor conductors. And you might need to compare and contrast uh, any two um, solutions. And so I would say, because one either partially dissociates or fully dissociates, link that to the concentration of ions in the solution, and then talk about poor or good conductors. Cool, I hope that all works out for you. I um, hope that's a good enough explanation. Um, in the next video we'll keep moving on and we'll hopefully be looking at con uh, calculations. Exciting. Uh, kakite. Thank you.